Our day begins by signing into the biometric system of the school. When we are late or not in school, Ma'am Fatima always calls a place to ask. It feels like you're living in a community. We head off directly to our homeroom where we have a short meeting with our homeroom teacher. There are no school bells and we move from one class to another on our own. For some subjects, using special programs, we move at our own pace. This is an angles translated into real life. So, if you were to score a goal, you have your net in front of you, uh, how much do you turn? So it's the, it's the turns that are our angles. So that is their angles playing out in real life. Every class has its own character. There are never more than eight children per teacher. Okay, what we need to know is that the stories are shaped from the perspective that they are told from. For some of us, we connect more with our teachers than with our friends. Our teachers are really, really cool. And what about the formulas? Are you still trying to memorize them or are you learning how they're made? Like, no. Because if you know how they're made, then you don't have to memorize them. And even if you do forget them, then you can just create them on your own during the exam. The most amazing part of the day is um, the choice time. In choice time, you can pretty much do anything you want. There is always a list of projects at display, and we can choose from the list. We can also work independently or with our friends across ages, get extra mentoring, play games, read, even sleep. Maria says that she trusts our choices and I think she really does. She goes at lengths to defend our rights to choose. We have whole school assemblies. In these assemblies, anyone can bring up any issue that impacts the community. Everyone has an equal voice, be it an adult or a child. But when we are voting, we know we have to be responsible. It's freedom, not a license. Someone was sitting in the seat and he went to go get a glass of water. No one can sit in that seat. But if he wasn't sitting in a seat, and he just sat in it, you can't do that. At times, children outnumber adults in votes. It's really cool when that happens. I love it here. This place has taught me how to be more independent and self-disciplined. To be honest, I wouldn't think I would want to change anything. And even if I have to, I think I can bring it up in a democratic assembly. Oh